Now, as their semester nears its close, the college students are training with live fire. Six on your side's Madeline White joins us live in studio with more on the potentially life-saving skills the students are learning firsthand. That's right. The Fire Service Technology course is designed to be a feeder program to local fire stations. And this, even more important now, since starting next year, the director of the program says the city of Meridian, for instance, will be the first in Idaho to require certain certificates certificates from their new hires. But first comes the know-how. If we don't do everything correctly, we're in real danger. How's this for an end of semester final exam? It's pretty intense. Running into a burning building. We all do different rotations. We take turns. So there's a team that attacks the fire. There's a team to build the fire and, and to sit in there and observe how it behaves. Uh, and then there's a, a RIT team that's kind of staged outside uh, that's, you know, their purpose is to run in and, uh, and rescue any, any firefighters that need rescue. That's what this group of 15 CWI students is doing to gear up for their end of semester certification. We were given these ticks, these thermal imaging cameras that will tell us the temperature. I think it gets up to 1200 degrees in there. Kevin Platt says this group is being groomed to become the next generation of great Idaho firefighters. Live fire is going to simulate exactly what they're going to be at on those uh, live fires that they'll have uh, when they get hired as firefighters. The new program, a result of a collaboration by 11 local fire departments. Before it existed, these aspiring Idaho firefighters would have had to go to Salt Lake or Salem, Oregon. It's Idaho's best firefighters training Idaho students to get Idaho jobs. In the meantime, this firefighter hopeful says he'll gladly take a burning building over a classroom. You can sit in a classroom all day long and you can read books, but there are some things you can't learn from uh, from that type of study uh, that you can only learn from experiencing it firsthand. And Don Platt says right now there's an especially critical need to fill positions at stations running on part time on call and volunteer programs in smaller communities like CUNA, Parma and Melba.